Hello my friends, <coughs> my name is Phoenix and uh, I intend uh, to make a let's play or how to play or most, um, I don't know, it will sound uh, mo more like let's discover uh, the passion and the pleasure of playing uh, Xenonauts. In, uh, in particularly uh, Xenonauts Community Edition X Division, as you can see on the screen, uh, 99.34. First of all, I would like to um, uh, to ask for your patience because I have never done this before, and I don't know if I will ever do it again. But um, uh, honestly, uh, this game deserves uh, deserves more publicity. This game deserves to be known, and um, yes, I am uh, a newcomer in making videos and YouTubes and things like that. Uh, so, if you have any suggestions or observations, please feel free to post them in uh, in my uh, in my comment section of uh, of the videos. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I am. Uh, I have a family, I have children, so if you uh, occasionally hear children's voices, uh, uh, children playing and uh, screaming and um, uh, chasing each other in the background, uh, don't be alarmed, they are just my kids playing. Uh, okay, uh, this being said, uh, as, you can, as you may have noticed, this is a prologue. I haven't done anything yet. I would like to take this opportunity to... Uh, to give you a, a three minutes a history course uh, on uh, on gaming uh, and particularly on XCOM. What is uh, XCOM and XCOM type games? Back in the 90s, there was uh, there was uh, is still alive uh, the Golub Golub brothers uh, who had a brilliant idea. Um, they created a game which is called uh, XCOM. XCOM UFO Defense or XCOM Enemy Unknown, uh, which has uh, become a fan phenomenon and uh, given rise to an entire genre of uh, gaming. Okay, in the modern days, uh, um, there have been many clones, uh, and uh, particularly there have been two lines of uh, two schools of thinking. Um, one is uh, the Xenonauts, which is uh, a reimagining of the series um, in its uh, m more closer to original form, and um, the, m the the other line of uh, the other school of thinking is the Firaxis. Uh, Firaxis is uh, uh, XCOM uh, and uh, UFO Defense, uh, the the 2012, I believe. Uh, followed by Enemy Within, and uh, if you have heard about it by Long Wars. Okay, so what I would like to uh, what I would like to to show you uh, now uh, is Xenonauts. Xenonauts, uh, and this is another thing I do not know how it is done. Uh, it's about credits. I, I don't even know where to put them. I'll put them in the comments or something like that. So Xenonauts is made by Goldhawk Interactive, uh, of which the website, uh, their website, you can easily find on the net. Um, uh, it was uh, it was funded and created through a Kickstarter uh, idea. Uh, obviously. Uh, it had its uh, its flaws and qualities, but its potential was enormous. Uh, it was followed by um, a um, more like an update, I would, I would call it, uh, community edition update, which corrected all its flaws, added uh, minor uh, improvements in the quality of life section of the game. Okay, what you are looking at right now is the start screen of uh, a mod uh, for uh, Xenonauts, which is called uh, X Division. Now, X Division is. Um, uh, possibly the biggest mod I have ever seen for a game of uh, this type. It's it's of a staggering magnitude, and honestly, I'm 
I'm doing this uh, as I've told you before as a tribute and uh, because uh, the the work and uh, the dedication of uh, the men who made the uh, Xenonauts and uh, X Division and um, Community Edition deserves to be to be known and at least deserves uh, a guide for uh, newcomers to be able to start uh, and uh, enjoy this game. Now, um, on a side note, I must mention that X Division is uh, more like a hardcore, really hardcore version of the original Xenonauts. It features a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot more um, uh, aliens, UFOs, vehicles, weapons, uh, uh, you name it. So it's, uh, it's all there. It's almost finished, so it's 99.9 .9 finished, uh, but uh, on the skill that it's working, well, it's, it, they, they have still a little bit of work to do. Uh, keep in mind that it, uh, this is a 2 to 4 man team effort, uh, and to have such a staggering effort, they deserve our consideration. Okay, uh, let's start with what we see. So. X Division, X Division 99.34 Beta. Start menu, new game, load game, game options, exit game. Now, um, I have uh, I have already played, I finished the game once, actually several times, uh, and the guy has sent me, um, sent me the new test uh, version, which is not even uh, mentioned here. Uh, and uh, honestly, I... Uh, I started. I started playing it. I had some trouble with the hardware, and I couldn't wait to play. So I played. I played ahead. But, but, uh, I, um, I will. I will start over, uh, and I will load as necessary. So uh, let's start with a new game. Now, uh, honestly, um, if you if you enter on uh, Goldhawk forums and uh, so check the vision. Uh, there, Dreyus has a post in which he says uh, clearly that it does not matter how experienced you are, well, it does actually, but normally uh, you should start on easy. You should start on easy because it's uh, this game, this mod, uh, it's not going to hold your hand. Aliens are brutal, the air game is brutal, the weapons are merciless, and uh, uh, a game that already was punishing every of your mistakes is now even more punishing so um, I would recommend for the first try for the first playthrough I would recommend easy um, okay I, uh, I have a lot and I mean a lot of experience playing these kind of games so uh, I already finished uh, I already finished on veteran uh, and uh, insane no, on you say not this mod, the game, but uh, this mod on veterans. So, I do have an idea of what is coming, uh, but I must mention that uh, between version 33 and 34, there's a huge difference. It's almost double the size, so there will be a lot of surprises even for me. Um, okay, so, easy. Take my word for it, it's not a shame, start with easy. It's a game, it's important that you enjoy it. Okay, I'm a masochistic player, I enjoy pain. Uh, not everybody does in the same measure, so feel free to feel free to enjoy the game. I would recommend easy for the learning purposes and for the enjoyment. Trust me, it's more than a challenge. But it's your decision. Okay, veteran. Exploratory dialogues, dialogues, I have no idea what these do, I never use them. Iron Man mode. Iron Man mode is a mode in which there is no uh, there is no turning back. Everything is permanent. You only have one save game. I would not recommend it in testing phases. Uh, and honestly, I would not recommend this uh, recommend it in this kind of games because uh, uh, every uh, it's it's pretty hard to recover from major mistakes and um, sometimes the interface. Uh, Sometimes the interface can, can kick your ass, so you may click inadvertently in other places, uh, you, shit can happen, um, which may corrupt your save game, so it's better to have a, a save game. Okay, uh, for the enjoyment purposes, I would like to mention that um, don't save scum, don't save scum, try to, try to save load as, uh, as less as possible, 
Uh, I personally only save load when uh, you'll see. I've I've already recorded a video of this when um, uh, my guys successfully shoot each other in the head. Or uh, yes, there is a possibility like that. Uh, you, I will I will explain it. Um, okay, so when they shoot each other in the head with missiles, usually, or even sniper rifles. Uh, which I don't like, so I only I only load uh, because of uh, interface uh, errors, game errors, uh, uh, not enough to explain game mechanics. Or uh, um, sometimes I play this game at two, three, four, four a.m. in the morning, so I am tired. Sometimes I click in places I don't want to click. Sometimes I'm in a rush. So when I do uh, I do things that are not uh, the game's fault. Uh, that are not uh, that do not uh, are not in in line with the gameplay. I load. Um, try to keep in mind you need a lot of patience uh, because uh, uh, this is not a game to be rushed. So, so that being said, Iron Man off. Return, begin game. Ah, uh, game options. Game options. Not that much, so I would recommend uh, uh, start increments to, put to be plus one, plus two, plus three. Uh, you also just gain experience, and they can be re that gain experience can be represented either by bars or by uh, num numeric increments. I like numeric increments; it's your choice. Um, yes, this option with reserve time units is. Um, uh, you must understand that in this kind of game, it's a turn-based game. Uh, you, uh, your soldiers have time units, and everything you do has a time unit, uh, has a time unit uh, penalty. So you turn, it's one time unit. You turn more, it's more time units. You put something in your backpack, you take something out of, of your belt. Everything costs time units. Okay. So uh, basically, if you reserve for a short time unit, the game makes sure that no matter way how you are positioned, you can still shoot. It's working. Sort of. Okay, veteran. Begin game. Now, what you see here is a message uh, telling you to select your primary base location. Now, uh, primary base location. I would like to remind you that uh, uh, this game has a lot of. It can be played in a lot of game in a lot of ways. What I am going to show you is not uh, is not the only way to play it. Is not the best way to play it. It's my way to play it. It's okay. It's working for me. For others, it may not work. I will try to explain uh, what is happening on the screen and let you. If you have a different opinion, please be feel free to enjoy it. Uh, so, um, okay. Uh, I would like to say again that I am doing this because I am a veteran. Um, I had no problem uh, accommodating. No, I, I'm lying. I had quite a lot of problems accommodating uh, to the to the game because uh, it's it's very logical and it's very clean and neat uh, mechanics, but. Uh, nobody's explaining it to you, so uh, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, hard in the beginning. So and uh, I've seen that most beginning beginner players have a real problems, real issues getting past the first month. So uh, okay, what you see here, this circle here, is uh, actually where where I point with the mouse. There I will I will place uh, my first base. Um, why does it have three, three concentric circles? Uh, you can have up to three radars in the base, uh, which each radar expanding your radar, uh, your radar coverage with the circles, with the concentric circles uh, that you see there. So, uh, basically, choose choose a place to place your first base. I usually go for go for. Um, Go for uh, for this. Usually go for the Middle East. Okay. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the interface. Geoscape strategy command system. Uh, build new base button. Launch interceptor buttons. And uh, and uh, this is the speed of the time flow. Uh, 
there will be times when you don't have many things to do just wait for things to be done and you can speed up time okay what you have here is key information that is previously month income monthly upkeep forecasted change and total casualties as you pass with a cursor on each on each continent you will see two things first uh, you will see the region relationship which can go from bad to worse or uh, ecstatic um, the funding level of that region as your relationship with the regions worsens because of your failure to protect them uh, you will be financially punished when they go in the negative you will lose that region uh, I don't know if you can recover that region or not it was not possible in the previous version I'm curious if it is possible now Honestly, I haven't managed to lose, to lose any regions until now, uh, no matter how many times I played, but we'll try it. Okay, so if you go in the negative, you lose the region. Uh, okay, some other things, night and day alternatives, uh, okay, and if you do not put your cursor on any continent, you will see the, uh, you will see the grand total. Below you have uh, the current amount of money that you have there. This is the hour, the date, and uh, this is where you are on the map. Here you have uh, the information bar. Some nice graphics from the guys. Okay, uh, good. Now let's start examining this magnificent toolbar here. First is the geoscape. It will bring you back. It will bring you back here. Second is uh, base layout design. You can have several bases, quite a few of them. We shall build, uh, we shall build a few in a moment. Uh, the next one is the research. The next one is engineering. Depot. This is uh, this is a storeroom. It's written there. Um, barracks. You have your soldier management. Uh, here you manage your soldiers as persons. Here you manage your soldiers as equipment and as assignments. Here you have vehicles. Uh, I don't have them yet, obviously. Um, your airplanes and your armaments with uh, two buttons, your interceptors and your dropships. And one of the most important stuff, you have the uh, Expedia. This is the XCOM uh, wiki. So basically, uh, whatever questions you have, you go to, you go to the Expedia and... Uh, they will be explained mostly because um, keep in mind uh, the strings the texts are not uh, are not done yet completely they don't necessarily match the changes in versions and um, uh, uh, they most certainly are not in line uh, with uh, the version the current version i am playing uh, it's a lot of work for only for only two or three guys to do everything. They have concentrated on making the mechanics work. Um, so what you see here is not exactly the reality, and this is one of the reasons I am making this video. Okay, but basically, uh, a basic info of what something does, uh, you find it here. I would, I would, uh, I would kindly suggest you visit this. Okay, the statistics are not that important, but the basic you can uh, you can find quite a lot of info okay uh, I'll let you explore it because I know them by heart uh, so okay so what we have done basically is built a base okay inside the base we have the base facilities uh, we have the storeroom uh, you can uh, you can place one no problem because if you cancel it right away with the right click button you don't waste you don't lose any money uh, okay, uh, let's let's take a look at the screen. You will spend a lot of time in the screens. So basically, personal capacity used, which means the grand total of accommodations in your uh, in your living quarters in your base. That means scientists. That means engineers. That means soldiers. Everybody is counted here. Research capacity. You cannot hire more scientists than your research capacity in labs. So as you can see, I have a deficit of ten scientists. Workshop capacity. I have no engineers present yet. Uh, hangar capacity, you may only have one airplane per hangar, which you have see is 4x4, 4x4 are being occupied. Garage capacity used, uh, I will build a garage and some vehicles. Hospital beds used, uh, okay. Soldiers, scientists, engineers, detection range, defense, 
uh, here is monthly maintenance so structures personal soldiers scientists address you may see that the little arrogant bastard scientists they are the most expensive they are well worth their money but they are expensive as well vehicles uh, uh, aircraft interceptors dropships monthly upkeep so this is it okay okay um, first things first what we have here hangars planes lab uh, workshop command center radar array uh, living quarters and this is the store what i usually used to play is something like this so basically i would suggest you do you you hire a lot of scientists because uh, you need it there are more than a thousand uh, things to research in the factory so it's absolutely huge uh, workshop uh, keep in mind you need a lot and i mean a lot of uh, engineers because in this game you produce everything mostly with except of ammunition uh, and shock buttons i suppose uh, the rest you produce mostly everything which is higher tech than standard earth technology you produce everything okay um okay uh as you may see i want to hire some scientists uh, i don't uh, i i it's not enough so i will bring some living quarters uh you can rotate the positioning yeah uh medical center medical center uh here uh garage here uh hangers a lot i you will need a lot of airplanes um i would suggest you build a hell of a lot of airplanes because what you have, uh, the guys made the air games really brutal. So uh, the more time it passes, uh, the stronger they will get. Um, uh, you are absolutely inadequate, for, particularly in the first phases of the game. So what you see here, the Condors, the F-17s, they are send one, lose one kind of a business. Uh, okay. Okay this is my first base the numbers here represent uh, pretty much the days needed until these structures will be completed good um, now let's go to the next tab scientists as you may have seen i have a deficit of scientists now uh, let's not go here first i would like to go to soldiers Soldiers, I have eight plus two. Eight of them are the Chinook, and the two are in reserve. That means ten. Uh, not enough. Uh, in the first months, you will lose men. Later, you will lose men. Uh, even later, you will sacrifice men in order not to lose your four, your four most important men. Uh, I don't like losing guys. I rarely lose one or two, but it's not a pleasure. You get quite attached to these motherfuckers. Okay, so, uh, as I've mentioned, this is the soldier management tab. These are the barracks. Uh, transfer soldier, dismiss soldiers, so basically you can select and you dismiss them. I don't want to dismiss anybody because keep in mind that the stock you start with, they, ha they have quite quite some upgraded stats compared to what you can hire you have a casualty list nobody's dead yet and hiring soldiers now uh, to explain a little bit about the mechanics um, the soldiers are defined by rank name time units hit points strength accuracy reflexes bravery the role well keep in mind the role has no particular no particular impact on the gameplay it helps to keep track of what you have in mind for that particular uh, soldier so what kind of role you have envisioned for him and the status where who where is he assigned to a soldiers going rank uh, they will uh, grow in attributes the more mission they do the better they become the more uh, the more attached you will be to them uh, in later stages so if i lose a corporal right now i don't give a shit uh, sorry for my language i don't really care uh, if i um, in, if in later in later stages i lose a commander or a major or a, a captain well that hurts trust me that hurts sending a team full of rookies to assault a battleship not even getting close to suicide 
so you will not kill a single alien with rookies so they are they are mean uh, you need pros so it's one thing to train a rookie one or two rookies per mission it's another thing to have a full squad wipe uh, in later stages if you get a full squad wipe you may pretty much start the game all over uh, okay our soldiers as I mentioned we have 10 soldiers now I've seen I usually start with 25 uh, in the first month I get down to 20 which I take care of them uh, for me the most important attribute is bravery I um, uh, well you may see there's a big discrepancy between the attributes of the stock soldiers and what you can hire none of them are exactly beginners if you s if you look at them they come from the most elite regiments they come from the uh, um, um, I cannot read this sorry <laughs> this is Norwegian or Swedish uh, so but basically uh, basically they are one of the best humanity has to offer and still are woefully inadequate to the job higher soldiers for me the most uh, important attribute is bravery because uh, it's the attribute that goes up the most difficult way and uh, I never take soldiers which are below 40 no matter what they are below 40 at uh, because below 40 it's like my grandma would be fighting that war so it's not okay uh, this tree I really like this I really like uh, let's see quite a good dice for right through today I tend to hide them which there uh, uh, I don't really care I don't really much. Uh, I don't really much care uh, for just of the attributes because they will grow with time. Uh, okay. Uh, so basically, I've overhired, uh, but that's not the point because I will notice anything. Uh, I. Um, I. Um, uh, never go beyond the 25 soldiers right now I have 26 if I can count well okay uh, basically I am uh, uh, I am uh, hiring another five uh, another five uh, scientists because uh, four I overhired as I mentioned and uh, Uh, one moment let me let me think about something one, one moment back again to you so uh, we've hired some soldiers as you can see it will take them 72 hours to arrive good three days that's quite a lot uh, I have also requested the presence of uh, five scientists four but five usually uh, engineers I already have ten uh, I already have ten uh, and uh, the other 10 I will uh, hire when uh, uh, the living quarters is uh, is done because if you make a, uh, if you make a count that would be 20 40 80 and my 20 soldiers would be a hundred I have 25 soldiers so I will either have to garrison them elsewhere or dismiss them uh, because I will need later this base as an engineering base uh, okay, so science. Here you have uh, uh, the science projects listed. Right now it's only one which is already being researched. Um, when you click on something, you will have a description most of the times uh, giving you an idea of where it would lead. Uh, keep in mind 
it is very important to keep in mind that uh, there are very 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 many research texts to do and uh, many of them most of them are dependent on you capturing aliens so it's not enough to shoot them it's not enough to blow them up you have to capture them the more dangerous the alien the bigger the reward the, la the final tier equipment you will only be able to get real sacrifice of capturing things so it's not going to be easy okay so research things like that engineering pretty much nothing to do yet we have 10 engineers nothing to do yet we are playing a waiting game storms storms nothing to transfer nothing to sell nothing for now uh, soldiers 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 uh, let's see uh, how should I uh, put it? Um, in my last playthrough, I played mostly a heavy weapons squad. That meaning a heavy weapons squad. So out of twelve, uh, out of twelve, uh, eight were heavy weapons, uh, and there was one sniper. So pretty good team. But uh, uh, this time I decided to try something different. Mostly rifles mostly rifles a few heavy weapons for suppression and shieldings we'll see how it works it's definitely more difficult to, uh, more difficult to try with rifles because uh, uh, you don't have the kicking power the heavy weapons but none of the disadvantages also uh, i'm curious how it will work out good so as you can see our stock soldiers they are uh, green in many areas not this light green, I mean the darker green, which signifies uh, better quality of attributes. Um, well, based on their accuracy, I would suggest you, you, uh, I tend to, I tend to organize my snipers based on their accuracy. Heavy weapon guys, um, heavy weapon guys, uh, you need their strength and accuracy. Uh, assault. Uh, assault, uh, assault usually tend to get up close and personal with shotguns, stock patrons, so sh things like that, which need to look the aliens in the eyes. So I would look for bravery and time units. The more the merrier. The more you can run, the more you can shoot, the closer you can get. Uh, okay, rifleman, generic, quite generic. Uh, shield bearers. Okay, let's go to the equipment the equipment as i have mentioned these roles assault sniper rifleman heavy weapons they don't really impact have no impact on the game uh, they only impact the way you can equip them and uh, for you to keep track of what particular role you have in mind for them in your squad composition okay name you can rename them rank age a few personal info about them dropship assignment you can assign them here or here you can also assign them roles here you can unassign them here too so it's nothing nothing new okay uh, okay now uh, okay these are the attributes mission skills dismiss relocate soldier uh, okay this is the increase in attributes the st your starting stock has by default an increased attribute okay uh, Weapons, equipment. Okay, uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, about uh, strength influences how much you can carry. Every piece of equipment has a has a weight. The more weight they carry, the more weight they carry, the more encumbered they get. When they get in the red, something like that, you will notice a time unit drop. So the more they carry, the less they move, to the point where they cannot move nor fire their weapons until they encumber themselves um, this is time units how much they can move health obvious strength uh, as I mentioned uh, determines how much you can uh, you can carry and also impacts the uh, several weapons have recoil attributes as you may see here uh, a recoil of 50 means that your soldier needs at uh, least 50 strength in order not to uh, have a penalty uh, an aiming penalty um, okay uh, 
accuracy, self-explanatory, reflexes, reflexes, reflexes. When you have enough time units reserved and uh, they see an alien, uh, depending on the weapons which you are have equipped, which you have a plus or minus bonus for reflexes, they will shoot. So let's suppose they all your soldiers look at the closed door and an alien comes and opens that door. If your soldiers have reflexes and time is high enough left from the previous turn, they will shoot. Okay, bravery, bravery is one of the most important attributes because of the psychic and the psychological warfare they are involved in. Uh, the lower their bravery gets, the higher the chance that your soldiers will panic or freeze or paralyze or even go berserk. When they go berserk, it's a bad thing, they start shooting your own comrades. Um, you will suffer a lot of psychic attacks from uh, different sonic units, alien units. Uh, so, uh, uh, being shot, being attacked, uh, being wounded uh, lowers the morale, the bravery. Uh, shooting aliens, uh, killing aliens, doing something good will re, uh, re increase the bravery. Okay. Okay. Uh, armor. I haven't created any, any armor. Uh, default equipment. Good equipment. Let's know. Let's start with weapons. Uh, they are grouped in uh, uh, basic, advanced, high, and ultimate. If I remember correctly, each of them with several tiers, uh, tires from uh, one to three, plus additional from one to three. Um, so you will have uh, basically, basically have two classes of weapons. Um, kinetic and energy uh, and uh, flaming I suppose um, and um, two uh, secondary types of uh, damage which is EMP and uh, stun I don't know I don't think uh, I will I will show you I will show you as it goes so it's not something you should keep in mind but keep in mind that basically there are two types of weapons kinetic and energy which have their side effects on different things they sh you shoot them with. okay um, each weapon you use you will see it has a range a damage mitigation which means uh, it's with how much uh, capacity to penetrate enemy resistance to this particular kind of and a, a, a weapon uh, this weapon has so basically if you have a mitigation of 10 it means that uh, 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 if the enemy has an armor of 20 a resistance a kinetic resistance of 20 when you shoot with precision rifle it will have only 10 uh, and so on so um, it read the statistics it will give you an info about uh, the range the damage type suppression um, each enemy is uh, each of your men and each enemy is uh, has a suppressing attribute uh, which is um, uh, well, suppression uh, basically if you if if somebody shoots at you you cannot stay in the hell of bullets and shoot back you you will have uh, you will have uh, you will have problems shooting back. So this is what suppression is actually. There are enemies you cannot suppress, and there are enemies which you can easily suppress. It's a useful tool. Uh, you can accomplish this using grenade also. Uh, good. So different weapons, equipment, grenades, uh, frag grenades. So your explosive grenade, your smoke grenades, uh, and your uh, and your basic flashbang. Uh, these ones, these two at least, will be lightsabers, trust me. Rockets, basic explosive rockets, pretty much use, useless uh, in the end. And uh, you have the demolition charge, uh, the med packs. I see they have, I see they have been re redone. Sorry for the interruption. My kid came in asking me what am I doing. Okay, uh, so 
you have a demolition charge which is uh, very useful if you want to get in the UFOs because they have closed doors so they are not welcoming you with open arms. Uh, shield which uh, has a frontal stop in of 100% and side block in of 60% so basically it stops uh, in the margin of its own hit points it stops incoming damage. Uh, basically that is the introduction. Uh, vehicles you cannot build any vehicles yet and airplanes okay this is it now uh, I usually start uh, building new bases uh, because you do have a lot of money to start with uh, I tend to do it like this uh, just because yeah. just because okay and uh, Another base. Another base. Another base. Let's. Ah, no, no. Let's put it. Let's put it. Let's put it here. In the China. Okay. So, if you go back, you'll see we have our bases which need to be built. 10 days. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not much more we can do right now, so we wait. So we, and so we end our first part of the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Phoenix. See you next time.